Jerome claims the guitar and effects box were stolen from his car. Now here's Judge Joe Brown. Everyone rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Joe Brown presiding. Please be seated and come to order. Your Honor, this is the matter of James versus Turner, case number 335. Thank you, Ms. Holly. Mr. James, you're suing Mr. Turner. You've alleged that he borrowed one of your guitars and some other assorted equipment and that it was stolen and he has not compensated you for the loss. Is that correct, sir? Exactly. Is that right, sir? This is true, Your Honor. All right. Tell me about it, Mr. James. Well, I've been knowing Mr. Turner since around 1985. You know, he's a, he's, he's a fellow musician like myself, and he's hanging around in the studio, and so we became friends. And... Um, you know, I show him guitar chords and, you know, help him out and he, you know, make errands for the group. You know, he wanted to be around music and I kind of took him in, almost like, you know, like a son. And uh, showed him around the studios and so when I was recording albums, he'd be around and he had his own little group and stuff. So we, we, uh, we continued this relationship for a while and uh, he got his own band, you know, he had a couple bands and, um, you know, he was trying to make it, doing demos and recording sessions. Well, about six or seven months ago, he, uh, he had come into town, and his equipment, his guitars, and his amp had, uh, had, had not arrived, or something happened. And he called me up, and he asked me, could, uh, well, he needed a, a guitar, and he needed an amp. So I lent him my, um, I just, I bought a guitar, I, I have a bunch of guitars, this particular guitar was, you know, and he kind of, he had just seen it before, he, he had kind of liked it and a Kurtzwaller amp, which is um, a box that contains a lot of effects and stuff, which I have the um, receipts, if I could present them to you. It was like 3800 for the um, for the Kurtzwaller, and the guitar cost me a little over $1,700. I have the receipts right there. You've seen these, sir? Uh, no, I haven't, but I will take uh, mm -hmm. Mr. James' word for it. Pass them, Ms. Holly, to Mr. Turner. Thank you. All right. Okay. Anyway... If I may continue. Yes, sir. He called me up. He was in desperate, dire need to, um, he, had a, he, had, he, had, he had some kind of gig he had to do. And he had called some other musicians and they weren't around. So he called me up. I said, uh, sure, you know, here, I'll, I'll let you use the curse wilder. Because, you know, I'm all about helping musicians. You know, if, if you're a friend of mine, I think you're a friend of mine, I'll give you the world. He told me that he had taken the guitar and the amp and put it in his car. Somebody had broken into his car, taken the guitar and taken the amp. So I take it you've not had the car returned and you've made a claim to him for the loss? Yeah. I mean, I, I told him. I mean, I didn't really get into detail how much things were worth because money is, is really not the objective with him. It was friendship. This stuff, you know, it costs a little money, man. You know, I'm building my life and my career back together. Pay me. I said, whatever's conducive for you, you know. So I said, two or three hundred dollars. So we worked out a thing. And he ended up paying me. He gave me a couple of payments. I think one time he paid me two hundred dollars. Sent me a payment another month for three hundred dollars. And the payment stopped. I mean, there was nothing. Yeah, but so why? Wait a minute. Yeah, but I will, we will get into why. Hello, we just hold on for. I'm sorry. Five hundred dollars you got. Yeah, somewhere around there. All right. He's gonna get into this thing, but seeing that this is my time to talk, uh, I'll just finish telling you. Then we all we, we got together at at a, at a club, club billboard on Sunset, a bunch of us, and um, people had were drinking a little bit, and uh, no slight on my friend J T or my used to be friend, but you know he's he's you know he's there's a little sugar in this tank, you know. I mean, there's, you know, a little, uh, I mean, he's, you know, a little sugar going on up in there. Don't say that, Rick. Don't say that. What? Well, he's basically homosexual, okay? Now, I have a problem with that because I love him still, okay? I mean, we, it, 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 you know, I'm not, you know, I'm straight, but I don't have a problem with homosexuals. But, you know, they're in my life. I love them. I embrace them. I don't have a problem with it. This particular night, he had a little bit too much to drink. And you did have a little bit too much to drink. And um, I take it this has something to do with his failure to pay off the balance. Well, well yeah, I'm, I'm getting to that. And, you know, so all of a sudden we're all, you know, around the bar and a bunch of us are talking and I get this hand on my, on my butt. You know, and the hand is like there for a few, you know, a few 40, 60 seconds, you know. And then there's another hand on my butt. And I look around and it's JT. Now, hello. Uh... And then he, he goes in and comments, well, you know, Rick, it was, it was really, it was an accident, you know, or something. The hand was on my butt 40 seconds. How a 40-second accident? Your hand squeezing your butt? No, that's not what happened, man. It was at least so 40 or do? 50 seconds. All right, we got that. Both buttocks. Do? All right. <laughs> Two hands full. And so I went off on him, okay? Um, 
you know, I got friends around and stuff, you know, and I know he likes me, you know, and, and I mean, I never thought it was that way, a sexual okay. kind of thing. And it's not. Oh, I, I never Hold thought on, it was don't a... don't interrupt. And I always try to explain to him, Super Freak was just a song I wrote, okay? <laughs> it was just a song. It really didn't mean a whole lot of things. It was just a song that made me some money and made, it got me famous, but it really did not entitle hands on the butt. There were no men's hands on my butt. That's Understood. a no-no. And I tried to tell him that, and I went off on him, and maybe I was a little loud, and maybe he was a little boisterous, and I embarrassed him, but after that, the hands continued off my butt. Then I left. I didn't see him no more. I didn't hear from him no more, and I haven't got any payments, and I would like to get paid for my loss of my guitar. And he could carry on his life. He don't ever have to speak to me in life, and uh, it's a sad thing. And, yeah, uh, but see, that, you're taking all out of contact, Rick, and you know you are. Now, what do you have to say about this, Mr. Turner? You got the guitar? Yes. This, All right. This now, what's true? What happened to it? It was stolen. I, that part is not the issue. Okay. Uh, he's saying that I did. I stopped the payments. It's true, uh, Rick or Mr. James. He did call me after we had talked about. You still about call me, Rick. It's all right. Okay. Just pay me. Okay. Uh, he did call me several times after this incident, which was taken out of context, but. I'm not going to speak on that. I did not call him back. This is true. Because I didn't see the point in calling you, Rick, knowing I'd probably get insulted. Uh, not saying I don't, I'm not going to pay him. I'm not saying that, Your Honor. But I, I, I do think, Rick, that you was wrong. You, I thought you knew me better than that, but you really don't. You I, really, really don't. I'm sorry, but I thought I did too. You, you know, Your Honor, I have had situations where I've had friends I mean, alcohol, I'm sorry, it but alcohol not do it induces... No, I had nothing to do with no alcohol. I'm sure Mr. James will have far more scandalous episodes than just a f <laughs> to pat on the behind. I don't mean any disrespect. JT, you can say what you want. You can say what you want all night long. But the bottom line was that he was out of line. I checked him about it. And I did check him, Your Honor. But I had a lot of love for this man. <laughs> this man lost a serious guitar of mine. This, that's not the issue. Okay, that you, that's and that is the issue up. that I'm dealing with. You bring up a no. character no. reference. Well, are you are you are, are you not? Oh, hold, on, not hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ask me my personal business. Hold is on, going along? Gentlemen, he's stepping on me. Gentlemen, you know? gentlemen, gentlemen, come on, Mr. Turner. Stay here. Over Thank there. That's Thank what you. He's complaining man. about you. Got too close to him the first time. Now let's deal with the issue. We're talking <laughs> guitar, talking money now. Judge Joe Brown continues in a moment. Why don't you two try to make up your differences, whatever it is? Uh, see, wait, looking at me. See, wait, looking at me right I, now. I see, but we're not talking about looks. We're not talking about personal orientation. And later today, father figure to the defendant. That's why he loaned him some equipment. But he says he has not been paid for that equipment, and it has not been returned. The defendant says that's because it was stolen. Let's listen. It's not an unreasonable amount of money for the guitar, nor for the mod. Now. The point is, is when you had it in your custody and your care, then you were responsible for that. It got stolen. You owe the money. You agree to that, right? Yes. Now, why don't you two try to make up your differences, whatever it is, uh, you know, you professionals, you know. Yeah, but he's impossible. I understand. He's impossible. I understand. You know, he but, took, well, let's he, not he even made go there. Let's, let's not even go there right now. We're talking money and a guitar and an okay. actor. We need this guitar replaced, so maybe if you compensate Mr. Jane for the loss of the instrument and the amplifier, then we can get back to square one. Now, what we're claiming here is $4,600, is that correct? Yeah, minus uh, whatever, minus the two or three hundred. See, wait a minute, Your Honor, okay, if, if I may just say something, hold Your Honor, on. I, I'm not looking to have a, a further relationship All right, with well, Mr. we Trump. don't have a further relationship. I just but... want my money for what I paid You're about to get it. my you, thing. You're about to get it. All right, now, 4600 is what this lawsuit is about. That's what you asked the court for. See where you're looking at me? See where you're looking at me right uh, now? I yeah. see, but we're not talking about looks. We're not talking about personal orientation and whatever. We're talking about guitar, amplifier, and money. That's all I'm talking about. All right. You have any dispute over the value, Mr. And, no, I don't, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Turner, then you owe that. That's $4,600, Mr. James. That's what you asked for. That's what you get. This court is all in right. recess. Thank you. Gentlemen, I need you to step out and to your right, please. You're going to get paid for the equipment. How do you feel about that, first of all? I feel good about that. I mean, that's all I ever wanted. What about the friendship? I mean, you know, he's going to pay me for the guitar. So I'm, you know, oh, a handshake before I've even asked. You know, I've been on this, you know, he's a great guitar player. He's a great guy, and I don't bear any malice, you know. And I, 
and I, and I love him. And if I was homosexual, he'd be my wife. <laughs> that has nothing to do with it. But, but, right. but, you know, it's all, it all worked out fair, and that's what I'm, that's the main thing here. And now we're on to the next.